Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your special birthday reading. All right, let's take a look. What can you expect for your birthday? And what's going to be coming your way? Mm. Looks like somebody that lives far from you, which is a fire sign, will be coming your way. And someone that you've been thinking about for, you know, for like, like for a long period of time. Finally, the two of you will be reunited. If you've been discussing about moving in together or, you know, like um, you going to their place or they're the one who's going to come to your place. I feel like this is the perfect time for that. Okay. Since that this person is finally much more willing to compromise. Either this is a younger fire sign or younger water sign. All right. Let's take a look. It comes to your love life. Also, you will be receiving news or there is like a correspondence that you will be getting that finally you can travel or there's like either this is a visa or documentations or you know something like that that you've been waiting to come and finally it's coming in uh you just feel so you know stuck to wherever you live right now because there are some things that's you know that's still like let's say necessary to, for you to have and let's take a look at your Um, some of you will also be receiving, finally, you know, the job offer that you've been waiting for, but you have to travel or move to a different city or area or country, possibly. And then, you're not going to tell this to anyone, okay? You don't want anyone to know about this, so you're just going to keep it to yourself. But just be very careful with your decisions, okay? If this is what you really want, make sure that you're really doing the right thing. And it is also for the right reason. Wow, when it comes to finances, looking good, Scorpio. You're really traveling. Finally, your health. Okay, let's see first at uh, your general, okay? There is a younger or, sorry, there's a younger fire sign or water sign that will be coming your way. Someone that you've been thinking about and, you know, waiting to come or for you to go to their place. And finally, this time, this person will be committing more. There will be like a, you know, going to the next level thing and... You know, they're much more open to the idea of you being together. Now, at first, you were, you know, you're a little bit hesitant because you don't know what's going to come your way. You don't know what's in store for you. And you don't know if, you know, if it's really possible for the two of you to be together or, you know, will it be for the, will it be for good? Because you're making a huge sacrifice. Um, both of you, either it's him or her, or either it's you that will be, uh, moving on to that place, but it seems like even though you're a little bit unsure, one thing that you really want is for the two of you to finally be together. Now, there's also like a documentation correspondence or something that you've been waiting for, like an approval that will be coming your way, and this will, you know, take you to... Let's say, for example, that you, this is the reason why you're going to be traveling. Altogether, if you're trying to move to a different place, there will be some good news and approval um, or like an offer that you will finally be getting. Okay. 
um, there is also an air sign person that will be playing tricks on you and that will try to take advantage of you. So you just, you just need to, you know, observe if this person is being true or not, or if this person is being genuine, or they are just trying to play around with your head, you know. And it seems like there are some people that up to the last minute with this new beginning of yours, right before you proceed there will still be some you know some tests that you have to surpass and well obviously you're gonna surpass it and i feel like you'll be able to you know to prove yourself that you're really worthy of this new beginnings abundance prosperity and happiness now there is also i feel like um if you're trying to find a job it you will be landing in a fire industry both okay Fire industries are not just fire or department or something like that. Media advertising, um, communications, you know, in the field of, um, well, anything that uses electricity, internet, voice, communication, something like that. Okay. And this is not just any other offer. You know, the job offer really looks so promising and something that you can really look forward to. So, Make sure that you will be taking advantage of this. You're not gonna, gonna you're not gonna be missing out a lot of your um, offers and opportunities because this is just you know, this will just come once in a year, okay. And to some, this is uh, really like a positive news or good news because you know obviously you're gonna be getting, you know, the job offer that you've been thinking about that you've been waiting for. Um. Some Scorpios are actually intentionally moving away from somebody that they are with and they will be getting, you know, a job from that place, okay? But I feel like for single Scorpios or for those who's already in a long distance relationship, finally the two of you will be reunited and you will be together, okay? Now, oh, especially if you're with a water sign or, yeah with a water sign that is older than you. Um, this is the moment that the two of you will be fixing things up, making things up. Um, whether you're with a water or fire and younger than you. You have tried, you know, you were already in the verge of giving up. You were already in the verge of uh, not really believing that this was that this will still have any direction whatsoever because it's been a long time and you've been waiting for this day to come for like a long period of time but it never really happened the two of you just keeps on fighting and fighting and fighting until that you all they got frustrated and finally you know oddly that the moment just became so right just as when you're ready to give up so well you know, even though that this person is younger than you, it seems like they are stable, financially matured, emotionally. It's just that they are too deluded and they are too, you know, like, um, and they make their life too convoluted because of their responsibilities and, you know, like they have the tendency to forget about the whole thing or about everything. And it seems like, you know, some promises that has been, let's say, you know, that this person have made in the past, it, it's not that they are, you know, that they are not going to honor their promises anymore. I don't see any marriage for now, okay, if you're single um, or if you're in a relationship for a long time and you're waiting for this person to propose or to be together. Or, sorry, or two to get married. It's not yet uh, time. But I feel like um, this is only the, uh, the beginning of your new journey together. Okay. Because even though you've been, you know, you've been together for like a long period of time, there are still some things that you don't know yet about each other. And. Especially that this person have been like too, um, too busy with their job or too busy with their career. 
they're kind of, you know, a little bit different when it comes to having someone or when it comes to being with someone. Because, you know, the next hardest thing in the world is being with somebody and adjusting your life, you know, because of that person. So since that this person has been alone for a long period of time and they're not really used to sharing their feelings, their space, their problems and everything else. So, you know, it will be like the next thing that the two of you have to make. So it's going to be like a brand new journey for both of you. All right. I don't see any pregnancy for now. But, <clears throat> no, definitely this person wants to have a family. Okay. If it's possible. But if, it, but if it's not, then, you know, the two of you will be happy being together. I also feel like you need to cut off your paranoia. Sometimes you feel like it's your, you know, sometimes you feel like it's your instinct that's been kicking in or your intuition, but it's not. You just have too many walls around you. You just have too many fears around you. That's why you feel like this person is having someone else. All right. And you're up for a bigger transition. There are also some things that you need to move over or that you need to, you know, to change in yourself. All right. Now. Hmm, I also feel like that by the time that the two of you are finally together, you know, you know, like you've, al you've already moved in together or in one place. Um, the adjustment won't be easy. All right. Um, if you're not going to change some of your ways to, you know, in, in making a relationship work or dealing with your partner, then this will just end up in another fight or another rift. Okay. Uh, for those of you who wanted to get pregnant, it seems like you can expect... Uh, pregnancy during the times of Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, okay? And even though that this person, you know, is kind of really addicted into their work, they're going to be finding time, and it will also bring you another happiness, okay? If there is another pregnancy that's going to come, because I feel like this person really won't have a child or won't have children, all right? Now, when it comes to your workplace or to your finances, looks like you're really up for a bigger abundance, happiness. I mean, especially that you will be learning your lesson now. And there is also a celebration, okay? Let's, uh, like what I said, either you're going to get transferred, you're going to get a promotion, you're going to get a uh, new job, new job offer in another place, and you're really traveling, okay? Three times, here, here, and here, that you're really traveling. So it means that either your new beginnings will be in another country, another area, another city, or it's time for you to leave that place wherever you are right now because it has already served its purpose to you and it's time for you to move into a new direction. Okay? You're really traveling. It's a must. It's really necessary, even though right now you're going to be asking, where am I going? You know, like, what am I going to do there? My house is here. I can't just leave this. Or I can't just, you know, I, I can't just leave my, my comfort zone. My everything is here. My family is here. But sometimes, you know, um, the universe or life is, has its own weird way of applying those changes and abundance and um, prosperity. But still, it is your free will. If you don't want to take advantage of this, it's already up to you. But if you believe that it's really time for you to make a move, then do so, you know. And um, you just need to have some more faith and trust in the universe that they have a better plan for you, okay, instead of controlling things and living in fear. Now... When it comes to your health, looks like you just need to have some balanced diet. Some of you will have some occasional bleeding or, you know, um, migraines that's been like um, eating you up or taking a toll on you. Um, if you, you know, for women, if you just went through breast augmentation and you're going through um, depression, feeling so down, and 
you know, like intense migraine. This is, you know, this is the biggest thing. You need to go and consult with your doctor. Okay, good. I mean, it's part of the uh, consequences and side effects of having some breast implants. Okay. Now, some of you needs to eat more and needs to gain weight and uh, you need to leave a um, um, eating habits or a food lifestyle or how you take your food. Let's say, for example, that you're so afraid of gaining weight, you need to eat the regular way instead of skipping meals or, you know, like uh, just taking granola or, or yogurt or something like that. It's not really healthy and it's not really helping you. Okay, and you know what? It's there's nothing wrong if you're going to be gaining a few pounds, or if you're going to be gaining a few fats or flaps in your in your body. Um, what matters is what's on the inside and your heart. You know, because you need this. You need more energy for your new beginnings. Okay, and not to mention that you will also be traveling a lot, or it has something to do with traveling with a new job that you're going to be getting. And if you're so afraid of um, eating white rice, why don't you just try to go for something organic, okay? And you also need to rehydrate. You're getting a little bit dried, especially for those women who's in their late 30s, early 40s. Um, you need to consult your um, ob for your um, estrogen and uh, hormones, okay? Also, you need to check your breast and bone issues. I mean, it's not just women that should uh, have their breast checked. Men should also do that. All right. So, anyway, that's it for you for this birthday. Okay, for this uh, for this time, Scorpio. And if you want to talk to me live at the phone and live at the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.